Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Never Give Up Edu. Uh, kindly subscribe, like, comment and press the bell icon to never give up Edu. So today I am going to discuss about Universe Series Part 2. I have already discussed about Universe Series Part 1, various facts about Universe. So today the topic in Part 2, I will be discussing about minor celestial bodies. So these minor celestial bodies are very very important from all examination point of view because examiners are, examiners are very fond of the, this topic and they frequently ask about uh, these topics in various examinations that are being conducted across the state and the country. Let's begin. So various other celestial bodies that include natural satellites. A natural satellite or moon is a uh, celestial body that orbits a planet or minor planet. So a natural satellite may orbit or encircle a planet like Earth or a minor planet like dwarf planet. So there are 185 known natural satellites in our solar system. Uh, that does not mean we do not have other natural satellites. Uh, we also have other natural satellites but the fact is that yet only 185 are known to our scientists and others are yet to be discovered. Some of the examples of natural satellites are Ganymede, Jupiter. So Ganymede is the uh, moon of Jupiter. Number two, Titan is the moon of Saturn. It, Titan is very famous. Oberon is the moon of Uranus. Now asteroid. Asteroid is also a very important topic. Now and then we often found about this term asteroid in news uh, uh, and regarding various uh, astronomical uh, objects and uh, celestial bodies. This term frequently uh, appears in news uh, and various uh, current affairs topics. So from that point this uh, topic is very important. So asteroid, asteroids encircle the sun in a zone lying between Mars and Jupiter. Uh, the circular chain of asteroid is called the asteroid belt. So what is asteroid? Asteroid is a celestial body that circles the sun that uh, that means it revolves around the sun in a zone uh, lying between Mars and Jupiter. So the zone between Mars and Jupiter, um, the area between Mars and Jupiter. Uh, so asteroids are only found in that belt only. So if a question comes that asteroids are found between Venus and Earth, so that option will be wrong because it is they are only found between Mars and Jupiter. So the belt in which or the circle or the part in which this asteroids move is known as asteroid belt. So asteroids or often called as planetoids are composed mainly of refractory rocky and metallic minerals with some ice. So asteroids are composed mainly of refractory rocky and metallic minerals with some ice. It has rocky materials, metallic minerals and some rocky ice. Example, Ceres is the largest asteroid is also a dwarf planet. So its diameter is 946 kilometer in diameter. So Ceres is the largest asteroid known to us till date. So what asteroids have? Asteroids is composed of metallic minerals with some ice and rocky uh, surfaces, refract refractory rocky surfaces. So this is a picture of asteroid. So asteroids look like this. Uh, so this is a pictographical image. Uh, their their sizes and shapes are much larger than this. Now, Kuiper belt. So this belt is very important. They often uh, examiners ask about this belt in in options. So also known as uh, Edgeward Kuiper belt exists beyond the eight major planets. So uh, we are having eight major planets as of now. So Kuiper belt is a great ring of debris similar to the asteroid belt but consisting mainly of objects composed primarily of ice. So uh, a Kuiper belt is similar to uh, asteroid belt but the difference is that asteroid belts are found between Mars and Jupiter and Kuiper belt are found uh, between uh, the existing uh, uh, solar system of eight planets that is beyond uh, Neptune. It is much larger 20 times as wide and 2 to 20 to 200 times as massive than the asteroid belt. So Pluto, Ceres and Aries lies here. So these planets that Pluto, Ceres and Aries, uh, dwarf planets actually, they lie in this belt. So what is Kuiper belt? Kuiper belt is the belt beyond uh, planet Neptune or the eight uh, major planets. 
so this is a picture of this uh, quiver belt so this region is a quiver belt as you can see it is composed of mainly of ic materials or ic particles or ic uh, objects or ic bodies so this is a solar system so this is the neptune uh, belt so beyond that all this area is quiver belt now comet so uh, a comet is an ic small solar system body that when passing close to sun heats up due to the effects of solar radiation and the solar wind begins to outgas displaying a visible coma and sometime also a tail form out of its nucleus of its atmosphere so what is a comet a comet is a icy small solar system body so when it pass uh, near to sun it heats up due to the effects of solar radiation and the solar wind that are uh, reflected by the surface of uh, sun and uh, when it occurs like that it uh, outgas its uh, from its uh, atmosphere it starts to melt and it start to emit gases uh, from its nu uh, nucleus and a visible tail or a coma appears so example halley's comet bring uh, brings it close to earth every 76 years so it was last visited in uh, 80, uh, 1986 so Uh, the comet is very important what is a comet comet is a, a solar system body that when comes near to sun or when it pass by near to sun it starts outgassing its uh, atmosphere from its nucleus um, giving it a visible tail or a coma so this is the image of a uh, comet now meteoroid is very important uh, recently Uh, on 19 april 2020 a news was flashed out in all the news channels and other mediums that a great meteorite is approaching earth so this term is frequently seen in various news so from that point this is a very important topic a meteoroid is any uh, solid debris originating from asteroids so asteroids are found between mars and jupiter uh from asteroids comets or other celestial bodies or object and floats through interplanetary space so meteoroid is not restricted to the asteroid belt it can travel anywhere in the universe uh, so it mainly originates from asteroids comets or uh, any other celestial body so basically they may be created from asteroid by or by comets or any other celestial body and it can travel through any part of the universe now a meteor is the streak of light so what is a meteor so meteor is a streak of light that appears in the sky when a meteorite enters the atmosphere that is mesosphere at about 200 km at high speed and burns up because of the friction so when a meteorite enters the atmosphere of the earth it becomes a meteor uh, because it, it starts burning uh, due to the friction or the Uh, the due to the friction or resistance by the atmosphere of the earth because atmo atmosphere of the earth has various components in it uh, to uh, revert back or to resist any uh, foreign particle that is entering or any alien particle that is entering the earth's atmosphere or surface so it starts burning and uh, that particular phenomena is called meteor so this is a file photo you can see uh, these two persons are very uh, famous uh, she is kajol and he is sharukh khan so this is a still photograph from the uh, famous movie uh, kuch kuch hota hai so you can see that here is a burning uh, image a, a, or a spot in this image so that is shooting star so uh, often in hindi movies uh, it is shown that if you make a wish by seeing the shooting star falling it uh, your wish can be proof uh, your wish can be proved to become true but uh, these facts are not scientifically proven yet but some will still believe them but the, what is scientifically proven is that a meteor is popularly termed as shooting star or falling star so from that uh, tuta hua tara so that tuta hua tara is scientifically known as a meteor now when the meteoroid does not burn up completely and makes its way to the earth surface so if that meteoroid uh, that was entering earth and making a meteor uh, does not burn up completely uh, by the resistance of uh, earth's atmosphere and make its way to the earth surface the surviving chunk is called meteorite so once the, it is created in the interplanetary space it will become a meteoroid 
and when it burns uh, entering the earth atmosphere it is mature and when it reaches the earth surface the surviving chunk is meteorite so this is the phenomenon so if a meteoroid enters earth atmosphere it vaporizes and turn into a meteor now the circular depression created on earth's surface after the meteorite's impact is called as meteorite crater so if a crater is formed by the impact or by the falling speed of a meteorite on our surface it is all it is called a meteorite crater so lunar lake in india is a meteorite crater you can see the image and you can understand how much big the meteorite can be so did that much of big a meteorite is that it can create a lake so that's all for today in the next video of universe series part 3 we will learn about various important universal phenomena so these phenomena as are very important and are often asked in various examination so if you like this video kindly uh, press the thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel and kindly share the video with maximum people uh, so that all people can be uh, benefited and candidates can be benefited uh, as matter of fact and this is the link for subscribing to my channel uh, and uh, hope you like the video thank you